How does Tyler think a dishwasher you, works? You put them in, and then you, and then magic, magic, water magic occurs. Water magic. And then you, and then you take it out, and then you have cleaner plates than you did earlier. Yeah. yeah. Basically. Cool. I assume we're we're here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Hold on. Actually, we're not. I need to play the sound first. Um. Oh. All right, welcome back to the Battle Vision Podcast, your number one, your number one um, podcast for all deep rock related news and discussions. All right, that's the end of the episode. <laughs> Seriously, like, I mean, this is obviously we could, right? We could pull some random topic out of our ass easily, easily. Actually, doesn't mean it'd be easy to do because if we to it's just not for like two hours. I'm sure we'd find plenty of stuff, but there's not much that we haven't already covered. And there's nothing new to cover, right? No. That's well, there, there is more than you. There is more than you think, but it's like it's just like it. It only it, it always feels worse when you're not covering something that's immediately relevant. It's why it's always better when there's news or something. And you can't blame us, right? And, and listen, I basically signed off this week in being fortuitous for the channel in any way. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> like this. This is this week is not. It's fine. It's, it's the last. It, as far as we know, it's the last week before they, they are, are off their break. So I'm not. Yeah. I'm not too concerned about keeping it tied that that closely to Deep Rock. There will be actually a video out tomorrow of us talking about um, dismemberment. <laughs> oh actually, my. yeah. Well, I, I figured that I didn't want to put it out. I mean, I, I know the only video that came out yesterday was. The Oppenheimer review, but I still don't want more than one video a day because that means I'm just doubling up when I don't have to. I could instead save it for a different day, which will be tomorrow. Um, so you can you can look forward to that. Um, the, the, huh? What? Were you going to say something? No, I was Good. taking a very deep breath. <laughs> Good. Don't speak. Um, the only thing that we can talk about related to deep rock and it's not even really that related to deep rock is um fucking r slash place but i've realized that that's actually already kind of not like almost gone away anyway um yeah I think it, it, well, it took I think... off as soon as we finished the last episode basically and <laughs> it's like died down already <laughs> yeah i mean it, it essentially um as a whole people care about it less than last year i think yeah um because first of all, the I mean, yeah, there is the whole fact that people kind of really hate Reddit. Um, yeah. Like they essentially, um, they the way that they dealt with the strikes is incredibly scummy, and they got away with it. They're like, yeah, we'll just like remove all of your mod permissions and get someone else to do it. That you know, will. We'll. <laughs> and because it's a lot of fight for power, it 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 worked. Um, but um, so people aren't a huge fan of Reddit anyway. No. But also, um, it's kind of, it was kind of just a thing last year, right? It, it finally boomed. And when something booms, it never really goes back to that, right? It was never going to be as popular as it was last year um, already. And that's just a fact of human nature, it feels like, right? When something peaks, it's called a peak for a reason. Um, plus, then again, there is apparently a heavy botting issue where bots are really fucking things up for like everyone and it's mostly flags which people are getting really annoyed about because i've checked on it sometimes um and so generally people are just sick and and don't care about our such place really at all um, yeah so this is a reddit issue like generally not like yeah Oh, so deep rock. Not even Although, specifically it's very rock, bizarre. It over there. Well, no, it's bizarre because I don't. The thing that I didn't really like, uh, which is kind of, I guess, I guess trivial, because I was going to say childish. I, I, it's trivial because what I'm talking about is something childish, and that they tried so hard, or at least some people did, to make it be like you know, deep cop galactic. That was the goal for a lot of people, yeah. and I just think that's just kind of silly. But at the same time, I don't really care <laughs> i've realized so they yeah, might as well I, make it funny although I don't. it's just it's, it's just that um the way the way i was seeing it in the like last last year <clears throat> it was before the season three explosion so you would have assumed that that you we would have been able to have a sizable and somewhat grand 
thing. I would have thought it's fairly that noticeable. Yeah, actually, the Deepwood community was big enough to have an actual impact on our such place. But ultimately, I think because of the general lack of shit, um, especially in the Deep Rock community as well, and with, I think, honestly, it got to the point where the people that wanted it to be Deep Rock Galactic were fighting against the Deep Cock Galactic so much that ultimately it was, like, half if that size of, like, last year's one. Um, and, like, it, and I think it, it changed quite a few times, actually, though, as well, I think I saw. Like, it was just Deep Rock Galactic, then Deep Cock Galactic. Eventually, they added, like, they made it smaller, but they added, like, a, a little picture of Hoxies as well. That was pretty cool. Hmm. Um, and I'm not sure what it currently is. Uh, I can... I'm actually looking at... I'm actually looking at it right now. Um, it's a pretty cool thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I can't immediately spot the Deep Rock thing, actually, which is why I thought it might be possible. That's sort of the mark, I think. I can see fucking Obelisk from Asterix and Obelisk. Um, Obelix, I mean, like quite um, presented. Uh, is that yeah, fucking I mean, there were like, some seriously cool things. Um, like I remember, there was there was basically an Eiffel Tower that was like France's whole thing, and everyone was kind of annoyed about it for some reason. So they built like some creature over it, um, and it, everyone was like, "Holy shit, this is fucking badass!" A bit there dunky. are still good things from it, um, some pretty cool stuff, but there is also not that. Um, there's also a lot of One Piece stuff, which I'm just gonna throw out there while I was looking, yeah. looking at it. Well, the reason why yeah. I, the reason why though I was sort of like a bit a slightly annoyed at people trying to make it, you know, something childish, was only because it, it became confirmed to me when Ghost Ship themselves acknowledged it that it was only because it was Deep Rock Galactic and had been changed to that. They didn't acknowledge it before when it started as that. They acknowledged it after people managed to change it back to Deep Rock Galactic. I was just like. If you want, it's pretty clear. I don't think Gosha quite appreciates that. I know they probably don't care too much about what's going on in our slash place, and I don't blame them, but they're not going to oh, be too happy. I, 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 wouldn't just say that. I wouldn't I wouldn't inherently say that either. It's a fairly good piece of, like, representation, right? Like, it would be a physical beacon that the Deep Rock community is existing and is strong essentially something like that i i think you could see it as um in the you know it's it's a reason for the whole community to come together and do something together which is why it's pinned right i don't think the uh, a mod actually made the post about it i don't think but they pinned the post uh, with the announcement on it because they do want people to do it it seems and participate uh, mm. because it you know it, it brings the community together except it didn't <laughs> like it, it not really not by much um and and i think that's that might be it's a bit of an f but i think it was more an of f. a all around um like all around this taste towards our such place than specifically um <laughs> Go, like uh, like deep rocks community it's like, it's like youtube rest. rewind <laughs> yeah it, it really is the relative to that um although i guess people still like it more since i guess it's more up to them but... yeah i mean look youtube rewind is so funny they didn't do one last year did they they haven't I... done one in like two to three years. two to three years hey. jesus yeah but okay they, it... they well no they i think they did, so I did, I think they did one there was one since they removed the dislike button though i'm pretty sure but there hasn't been one since then, which I think was like twenty. Well, they did the they did the really horrific one, which like the, was the most disliked video, and then they did a really safe bet one after, where they, it was just like quite a top ten list, right? Um, and yeah, everyone hated it because it was so bland and boring. Um, so like, fuck it, there's no winning. Um, thinking that in the you know there was winning by doing a good job, but they didn't feel like doing that. So uh, yeah, but this is not quite like that since you know. It's not a corporation trying to pretend and think they know what the community wants. This is just the community doing what the community wants. Yeah. Except sometimes it's not because it's bots or it's just the entire country of Germany. Um, what? Stuff like that. Well, that's that's like what the main flags. Mm. Oh, there's more yeah, to it than I, mean, I thought. It's, bit, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. They keep making it bigger, I think, as well. I think that's the thing they do. Um, I don't know how you meant to find anything in particular. Um, well, have you found the deep rock one? No. All right. Oh, I know where it is. Um, no, we need to because I, I saw the version of it that they acknowledged was um, it had like some beer pouring onto the logo from above. 
Yeah, because that, like, that oh, has nice. a dark and darker uh, above it, which I would like to say is a game that doesn't exist. Does that fucking yet? cut the rope? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Some fucking void wyvern um, loitering on the right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah. And obviously Luffy, you know. And Luffy. Luffy. Yeah, Luffy. Yeah. Speaking of One Piece, <laughs> not really, though. <laughs> Look at the One Piece one. Look right below it, to the right. It's on the right side. What? There's what? something below. Right, just just don't, basically touching the One Piece image, the Luffy image. It's below it, towards the right. right. What am I looking at here? There's a little fella. A oh, little... the tiny little guy. Tiny yeah. little fella. The tiny little Amogus. Yeah. The only reason I'm bringing up One Piece though is because, like I said, I can't, we're not really going to be talking about Deep Rock today. So you can talk about whatever, no. whatever you want, really. Um, I, I'm just right. all I want to say is I, I I haven't watched or read One Piece, but I kind of think the live action looks fun. <laughs> <laughs> not good, just fun. It's got that stupid high FOV like camera work thing that the Flash did, and it's really gross. I don't like it, but. In general, I don't know, man. It looks fun. It looks funny, like the way, especially the way that they're like doing, like you know, they're very much so embracing what it is, sort of tonally, visually, a bit strange. But obviously, you know, it's live action, so it's already going to be very different. But you know, they're like, first of all, saying like attacks out loud is not something <laughs> that <laughs> even uh, you'd expect from any adaptation. Um, not that, like, for example, something like Cowboy Bebop had that anyway, right? Like, in the, the well, Yeah, no, Cowboy Bebop was just... Cowboy they Bebop were just, couple... They were just... They were just people fighting, but, yeah. The, uh... Calling out the attacks... Name atta name of the attacks, that's a... That's a shonen thing, generally. That's... it's That's quite normal in, like, Naruto and all that stuff, right? Um, yeah. And is in One Piece. Um... And yeah, so I don't know. I, I'm I'm almost definitely going to watch it, and I'm excited to think of the fact that you might as well, right? I think I think I getting... probably will, and I'd, yeah. I'd love to because I'd love to talk about it with you yeah. and Thomas, who's supposed to be here. Yeah, um... <laughs> it's kind of weird. We're just sort of, we're just sort of tucked away more to the left than you, so it's like we're talking, and there's just some guy like right by us, but he's not part of the conversation. He's just, like he standing there with a drink. And he's sort of looking around. He's like looking around, but he's not like he can't get in with any other group at the party. He doesn't know anyone he, else, he, but he can't he's talk to us either. He's just like on his phone on the calculator app, just 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 doing some math on the know. calculator app. Oh my god! And, and the, yeah, doing looking at the weather. Have you been like in a position that. where you're just looking at those apps because you can't think of anything else to do? Those apps, like the fucking I... weather, or like your. <laughs> Some horrible nonsense like that. Well, because it's it's you know you but you're in the middle of like a public area and you want to be on your phone, but you don't know what it is. I have I've just stared at my like home screen and done like nothing before that much. I've done. Um, I, well, I think Reddit was uh, it was a, a somewhat preferable one because Instagram is a fucking you do not scroll through Instagram in the public. Do not do that. Why not? <laughs> Fuck you mean? Why not? Like, uh, uh, like best case scenario, some goofy ass memes appear. Um, and like that's like best case. Worst case scenario, they're doing an OnlyFans ad. Um, and you are fucked. You never stood a chance. Yeah. Um, I don't care. But... <laughs> I follow those people. I'm just like scrolling through Instagram in public. I don't, I don't care. It's just all. It's yeah. You, you just straight up skip the middleman and just follow the yeah. <laughs> fucking. No, like... I told you something's really fucking awful. Is um the meme pages are starting get started getting like sponsorships from a uh, feet finder. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, which is oh. hilarious. Um, it's disturbing. I... It, and immediately yeah. as soon as it started happening, it's in the people in the comments just like this is this ain't it, bro. It's ain't it, cur. Like, you know, get your bag and all that, but also don't, because this sucks. <laughs> it's yeah. just terrible, terrible. I mean, it's uh, like, get your bag, but I'm also getting my bag and leaving, right? <laughs> That's the kind of situation. I know yeah. Tom already did it, um, and I, I've started doing it for some of the really bad ones. 
Um, You've been unfollowing them, posting those ads like constantly. I just, yeah, just, just unfollowing him. Just, yeah, but see, I would have done that except last time something like this happened where it was like really excessive. It kind of just went away. I didn't unfollow anyone, and it wasn't wasn't a big deal. Um, I guess feet, something like that is substantially more annoying though, <laughs> because it's a fetish. <laughs> Yeah, but ultimately, it's not that the feet are on screen. Like, with the other stuff, it was literally, like, there was a point in time where they had figured out, like, some sort of mesh that the women could wear, some sort of mesh to where they were essentially nude and then got away with it, right? It, they didn't catch the, the nudity, I don't Well, know. I've seen actual yeah. nudity, like, very... Str- I mean, there was, like, the pregnancy thing was a thing for a while as well. Did you, do you, remember, did you ever see that? No. The, where it's just women that. giving birth. <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> Like, me. water birth. Uh, yeah. I mean, specifically. That, 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 like that stuff. Well, but like, it's supposed to be like a medical page, though, or something. It wasn't like, you know, something else. It was supposed to be some kind of medical thing, or like you know, like birth videos, <laughs> but like not. Uh, 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 uh. Ultimately, just unfollowing him, you'll probably find the means that they post anyway, because all of them just copy from each other. So you just end up with the accounts that don't fill your feed with ads. Um, yeah. And maybe even find some newer ones that are funnier, because I think some of them really do rein it in with a bunch of shit. Well, um, well I mean, I don't really care. I don't use Instagram that much anyway. I find way more funny stuff on Twitter. Um, yeah. it's it's much or better. X, I think is is the right. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, X. We've not actually Fucking technically hell. changed it yet, right? It's still Twitter. Um, um, right. I type in Twitter. I put like T in my like search bar, and it auto corrects, like auto completes to Twitter, but it's like. The X logo, it's like on the hot on the, the the tabs. It's you know that as well. Oh look, Netflix has already got a, like a, a UFO documentary out. Um, do you see that that guy who used to work in like intelligence um, swore under oath that they had like UFOs and non-human like body parts and stuff. Hmm. Um, so that's cool. Well, that happened yesterday. First of all... <laughs> First of all, UFOs exist. They're things that we just don't know what they are. And second of all, non-human could be any other animal. Um, and he wouldn't be lying for either of those two things. Yeah, but he said they were covered from the UFOs. <laughs> what? So it's, it's what, what is it? Been, uh, a roo. Zoos. Uh, a harambe. Yeah. Either thing, a spaceship. Either way, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't kill him if it's that big a deal that they would hide it, right? Like, if they if they needed it to stay a secret, why isn't he dead, right? Like, <laughs> hmm. I I can't remember. I remember you having some really dumb take on this though, and I can't. I, I don't want understand to why they need back to make it such a secret. Like, no. People, most people oh. believe in aliens and UFOs at this point. It would not be the end of the world if they revealed that they they have had them, which is why I don't get why you, everyone say, "Oh no, they're hiding them." Why would they? Mm. There's no reason to. Everyone knows they're hiding it, if, even if they are hiding it. So what's the point in hiding it? I actually I, agree, um, but you must also agree that if aliens presented themselves to us, that would fuck some things up. They came down from the sky and were like, get, you know, spoke to humanity and announced their presence. That would be yeah, that would fuck probably. some things up. Yeah. Anyway, speaking of aliens hiding, <laughs> you didn't realize how good of a segue that was, did you? No, not you were setting all. yourself up for that. I mean, not even. I wanted to actually talk about something else before that. Oh um, right, I yeah, I, I got the segue now. Um, wow, right, I just got it. I, well, you know, I, I like the idea of talking about video games that aren't deep rock. Yeah, that we might have played. Yeah. Recently, Wait. Wait. for the first you... time, I've I've played quite a few of those games, Harry. Are you about about we? Um, yeah, like more three specifically, brand new games in the last couple of days. Well, sure, but I mainly mean the 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 we. Yeah, okay. it's not too dissimilar from. Well, it's it's not the furthest thing from Deep Rock in the world, is it? That's almost why you brought it up. You're like, hey, yeah. look, is it, this game is set in the Azure world. Um, yeah. Um, don't know why my voice sounds like that, Harry. My my voice is is nothing like that. Um, my name's Tyler, and I play Tectonica. <laughs> yeah, um, me and Tom do play Tectonica. 
Um, I do not. Basically, uh, no, me and Tom, um, we... Yeah, I'm just we, saying that I don't. There was a game that came out on Game Preview, um, on Xbox Game, game Pass, pa- um, <laughs> called Tectonica. Um, and I, I basically download most of the games that come out on Game Pass and play them, because, I don't know, it's fun. Uh, it's free. Why wouldn't I? It's not free. Especially if I like the look of it. And I looked at it, and I'm like, holy shit, that's the Azure World, and I'm pretty sure this is going to play, like, Factorio or the other games like that. And I think I was right on on both of those things. Um, Because, yeah, you essentially play in, like, an alien cave, um, and you build a factory, essentially. And I have never played those types... Oh, I've played a game like that before, kind of. It was slightly different. And Tom never has, and you probably never have, right? Um, the, um, the factory Have type I not? Sims. I don't think okay. so. No. I mean, you can almost turn Minecraft into that if you like. Aren't you? Te- Those fucking Te- redstone machines. Do that. No, not and even with mods. What... Don't even need mods at this point. Well, yeah, well, seen... yeah, Redstone does kind of do that, but Technic is like specs hard into that stuff. Specs uh, hard. Which, which is why Tom fucking loves it, because uh, he literally mentioned said these exact words. These are the exact parts of Minecraft that he loves, right? It was the, you know, the Redstone stuff, and that's essentially what Tectonica is. Yeah. Um, I, as far as I can tell, it's, we're reaching the end of it now it's not the end end but the end of what's in there because it's literally um 0.0 like 0.1 yeah i I will Um, say actually despite me not liking it at all um it's like fairly complete i don't really see how it's not as in it it almost it does remind me actually of robequest a little bit because something that we noted about robequest although to be fair we got on robequest much further in it's just that it's yeah. re- it's very polished in what's there, even if they haven't got everything in there yet. Um, yeah. I don't know if you agree with, with that on Tectonica. Well, te- it, it's it's got some bugs, some pretty hard bugs. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I can. Point it's got to a it setting. It it's got a setting automatically yeah. turned on that lowers your frame rate. Um, yeah, which that was pretty rough. I don't know if that is like something particular though. It's called V-Sync. I don't know if that's like something that helps keep your games like in sync or something. Um hmm. by keeping it like not as like you know, by capping the frame rate. Um it's a graphics technology that synchronize synchronizes the frame rate of a game with a gaming monitor's refresh rate. Okay. Then why well surely my mon- my TV is the higher refresh rate then. I think it's if just, it can run it at I think 60. It's because... I think it's because it's a TV, it assumes it has a slower fresh rate. That might be a thing. Yeah, well, my TV's just a fucking unit. It's so fucking <laughs> old and so goddamn like I could not, I can't change. I thought I was going to have to. It's not, I shouldn't even bring up the fact that that happened, actually, because it might, I might curse it's myself. Gonna, it's going to remember that it's broken. Yeah, but... it's like the weather yeah, in no, England it... right now. It's, it's forgetting this. It's um, meant to be summer. <laughs> <laughs> but frankly, I'm a fan. <laughs> but frankly... Yeah, it's nice and cool. But yeah, no, I don't know. I think if you like, if you well, first of all, if you have Xbox Game Pass um, and you like um, factory games, I recommend. If Tectonica. you like complete silence, um, um, yeah, it's so it does quiet. not have any music. It's uh, a it's very quiet weird. game, isn't it? Um, yeah. Maybe you're um, meant to like listen to your own music. It's surprised. It didn't strike me as a game that would have had a voice actor either. Um, yeah, and it has do. like two. In, two? In, and then where we're at, a oh, German guy. In oh, German Russia guy. Appears. There's a new uh, guy. I, I thought you were talking about the like the robot voice. No, well, I guess there's three then. Um, oh, that would that that could be that didn't necessarily a voice actor, right? Can you get that is. like fully robot unique voice actors aren't all AI? <laughs> no, sometimes they're David Tennant. Yeah, but um, it's a weird reference. Um, Star Wars. Using the Clone Wars, he voices a robot. Oh, but yeah, no, I don't know. It's it's all right. Um, me and Tom quite like it, although I think it's wearing a bit thin now because, as mentioned, we're kind of reaching the end of what's there. Um, and you did not like it at all. You never got into it for even a second. It seems right. Like, that is just not a thing. And Tom, are you back? Technic, We're talking about yeah, Tectonica. It also. This is something, it's a pain in the ass to say, right? No, it's not. Like, like that's something that is no, not, not, is not easy is, to say. It's not easy to say. Um, 
It is. Hop on deep rock. Hop on tectonica. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's, it's not fine. Easy. It's not. It's this is you. Fine. This is a you problem. No, it's not. Tectonica. It's two hard T's. Uh, you really got to Tectonica. Do yourself hard T. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we've enjoyed it. Harry has not. So two out of three people rate it pretty good. Um, uh, As so a man, I wouldn't. That. I wouldn't say don't try. It's very small, um, and it's on Game Pass. So go off, I guess. But it, yeah, it was strange. I had no reason I to guess. expect it to be my type of game, but I also haven't really tried that type of game before either. So I guess I just. Know I would now. say you still haven't. You never you need engaged to reduce with the, the quantity of limestone required to make uh, bio bricks. What That's Tom's issue? Um, well, it, it was cool. It is actually. I, I'm not sure what marks like a good factory-based game, but currently there is nothing you produce that is waste. There is nothing. You um, mine and then thrash like quite a few different things, and it all produces something that is useful later on, and it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, well, no, yeah. I mean, I, I think I'm I know sure why. Look, I, I don't think I play any games that don't have combat in them. Um, <laughs> I just, I don't know. I, that's kind of just what I go to games for. I, 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 I couldn't be. I was not. In, I was not drawn to engage with any of it. That's why I didn't engage with it. I was just like, this is just, this is just fucking building shit and conveyor. I don't like oh, building things, combative. basically. Yeah, I'm <laughs> aggressive. That's like, <laughs> I'm a noticeably aggressive person. It's, it is weird though, because you're not at all in any way, shape, or form. Like you, you do not strike me as someone that has to beat the shit out of someone to have fun. Well, my um, favorite games are like, ah, oh, you know, <laughs> you know, like Halo, Deep Rock, um, Doom, right? All that yep. <laughs> shit. Um, well, it's because once again, I think it probably pairs nicely with your love of metal. Um, in that you do not look like you match the things you like. No, <laughs> no, that's because. Yeah. But the reason for that is because I don't. Why do people have to wear their fucking like um tastes in media? I you don't. don't have to wear them. You just don't look like them, right? You 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 don't ha you don't you you don't look like one. You but don't have like... the energy one. Like you're no. you're a heavy metal guy. That well, not heavy metal. It would it hit? It's just metal, right? Yeah, um, it's just metal. Just say yes. Yeah, metal guy who is into games with a lot of murder and violence in, right? Um, and yet you are the least confrontational pacifist I know. Like <laughs> you, you, you will let anyone get away with essentially anything. Tyler, um, I, I genuinely think that I'm the least confrontational person on the planet. Yeah, I'm not. I'm ego, almost not but... kidding. Yeah. I, I also think You're up no, there. no. Okay, this this is actually a bit more serious. I do think I might be the least petty person ever. <laughs> Genuinely, I just don't bite back. It is against me at all. What? I don't, well, basically, I basically uh, to put that in perspective, I should fucking hate Thomas so much because he's an asshole because he's to me, <laughs> and I know he is. But I still love him. <laughs> Well, I'm not an arsehole to you now. I was, though. No, you are. What do you mean you're not? <laughs> well, I'm just... I'm the same level of arsehole to you as I am to everyone now. Yeah, but don't, yeah, they, just, don't most people bite back? You. Yeah. I, I just don't no, care. No. Most people yeah. don't. The only reason I, I care now is because you're saying that you're not, which is... I, don't, I can't stand for that. I can't... <laughs> not that I have a problem with it in the moment, but... Anyway, um, we're about um, half an hour in. Um, I think it's time to for me to go to the toilet. <laughs> fuck's sake, yeah. I really need to go. I don't normally. Why didn't you go before? I did. Oh, that's actually, sad, I don't. Dude. I don't think I did actually. When's before? Of course, I've been to the toilet before this podcast. <laughs> of course, <laughs> at some point. Um, yeah, I guess I should probably. Should I pause it, or do you think you can? <laughs> Um, I'm sure me and Tom can wrangle up a conversation. Do you actually think you can? Yeah. This I should be interesting. Can. All right, just acknowledge the fact that I am going to the toilet. This this happens some... Yeah. Like in podcasts with, like, three people, they do this. They just be like, oh, just, you know, hold the fort. But I'd be surprised. They don't often post podcasts. Came back, I just sensed that Harry needed to go for a piss, but I left. Yeah. Like, I mean, not let, came back from being left. 
Hello, Thomas. All you right. and me are going to talk. We got this. Right, we're going to have a discussion. We're going to we're going to talk about how I think Gear Fifth is coming oh, out fucking like, hell. in like next week. Um, <laughs> I think it's it's n not this Saturday, but the Saturday after is when Gear Fifth is going to down down. Yeah, it was and supposed to come out like early August, isn't it? It was, it was supposed to already have come out, but I think um, the animation, or not animation, but the thing they were doing on had like a break week or some bollocks where they didn't do it um, and some bullshit occurred. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, people keep hyping it up like a lot, right? Which I don't blame them for, but I, it really confuses me about how them, why they're hyping it up in that they talk about the team behind it a lot. Um about how it's essentially Japan's like S team, like it's it's the S class um, animators and directors um, from like some of the best shit out there. But they really, it's it's a weird, it's a weird kind of S class in that there's someone apparently that they do directing it, which I'm uh, not directing it, but like is but one of the animators like my main things, and his thing is that he is like one of the best fist fighting animators out there like in at least japan like some of the most iconic hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes um like put to anime is from him and i really just have to ask the question what fucking hand-to-hand -hand combat is there in with gear fit <laughs> like what the fuck are you on about um like luffy and kaido aren't throwing hands Luffy's throwing Kaido <laughs> just like around like a fucking jump rope. Um, and so I'm not sure where a ton of the hype is coming from. I think it's kind of bullshit. But um, I'm behind the message that a lot of people are spewing that this might break the internet um, in that some of the other stuff that some um, of these already did kind of did. Um, it, I, I can't imagine it will live up to the hype. I don't think it's it will either. The hype is so high. It will be yeah. good. But it's, it's just it's annoying when people overhype shit like that because yeah. it just kind of ruins it. It I won't it's... ruin it because I'm not really affected by it, but it will ruin it for a lot of people, and that's kind of upsetting. Yeah. Me. A lot I, of people I, well, will be like, oh my god, this is going to be the best thing ever, and then it isn't because it can't live up to their standards, and then they'll think it's shit. And I really think it, it, it's a testament that I think people have forgotten the chapter that they'll be copying. Not that it, the chapter was really good, but they think it's going to be this giga awesome fight scene, right? Because they reference like um, Sanji versus Queen, Zoro versus King as moments that broke the internet with these badass, like just immaculate animations, uh, which I'm looking forward to watching, Todd, whenever we're going to do that. Um, like that, that stuff is what people like talk about. Like, you know, One Piece is already almost breaking the internet with just these fights, let alone Gear 5. <laughs> Not realizing, and I think forgetting that Gear Fifth's fight is one of the goofiest shit that will ever be put to screen. Like, like people, people. I think generally anyone that isn't a One Piece fan can understand how Sanji versus Queen and Zoro versus King was badass, right? That it was like a guy with fire on his legs kicking the shit out of a Brontosaurus, or like uh, a dude with three swords fucking like cutting down a, a a pterodactyl with a fiery dragon, right? That kind of shit was rad to just the uninitiated a rubber guy that is that is pure looney tunes beating up a dragon <laughs> like, like or like and vice versa like it is not going to be a palatable fight for anyone that isn't already a part of one piece they're going to be looking at this and they're not going to be saying holy shit this is awesome i want to get into one piece they're going to be making fun of the one piece community for thinking this will break the internet that's what I think will break the internet. It's the two sides saying that, look at this shit, look how amazing One Piece is, start it now. And the other, one, other side being, are you fucking serious? How, are you looking at this shit? This guy's head is literally the shape of the weapon he just got like hit with. Are you fucking high? <laughs> um, and I think that might break the internet. The fact that I think the most volatile of One Piece, or just anyone that doesn't want to watch One Piece, will co come out of the woodwork and be volatile about it. And there's going to be a fucking war about, like, if this is the best One Piece has. is this If this is what the One Piece fans truly think is the pinnacle and are hyping up to break the internet, 
is it worth it? I think that is probably going to explode into yeah. on and Twitter. It's not, it's not yeah. a a typical anime, and as we said, like a lot of um. That is why I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend somebody, and and why it'd be funny. Why well, we always say it'd be funny if Harry just started watching it now, because there's literally been over twenty years of build up to this point. Yeah. Um, thousands of, well, not thousands. Of over a thousand uh, chapters and episodes building up and establishing characters and that's what gives it meaning yeah that's exactly. what Oda does so well it's, the, it's like that's that's why everyone it doesn't just inherently have Giga. meaning it has meaning it's... based on what's happened yeah why he can create silly characters yet yeah, that pro- provoke emotion despite the absolutely ridiculously goofy scene slash power up slash development in the future of the story we don't. We One Piece fans are entirely behind it because Luffy has never been more Luffy than in Gear Fifth, right? He has never been more true to himself when he's been in that form. But as far as everyone else is concerned, that is one of the goofiest shit they've seen in their entire life, and will turn them off from the series. I could imagine. Um, most One Piece watchers, because it takes so long. I mean, I I watched it in like a few months, but most people who are watching it not literally day in day out. It takes them years to watch all of it, yeah. catch up, and so they've spent years growing with this character and and growing to love him, even though he's a bit weird. Yeah, he's not a typical character in a lot of ways, and so without establishing that connection to the character, he's just fucking weird. Yeah, which um, is like a thing that occurred. Like I, I, I don't know, I told you, but um, most critical. He uh, he's been talking about One Piece on his like second channel, but no one's really been paying attention. But he publicly talked about it because he reached Ennis Lobby and um, well, he reached Ennis Lobby and what seven, and he basically said, "Okay, it is now good, <laughs> right?" And people were like, we're "Glad you finally realize it." Um, but also, he has openly said how much he fucking hates Luffy, it just straight up that he thinks he is a just a terrible character in all, all way, shape, or form. And apparently, the internet volatilely hated him for it saying he's one of the dumbest motherfuckers out there for not like understanding him um, and shit like that You're viewing it through our perspective and he's viewing it through his perspective yeah and I think his perspective because his argument was that literally he is just goofy he's just a silly stupid moron stupid moron guy goofy guy that ruins all tension and everything he's in essentially is the way he sees it and I cannot think he will, uh, like, I don't think there's anything that will vindicate him more than Gear Fifth, <laughs> the pinnacle of one of the most intense battles in One Piece's history, met with the most goofy, tension killing fucking action known to man. Like, he will be looking at that like, I was right, right? Like, Gear Fight, Gear Fifth will prove Luffy haters right, <laughs> essentially. Um, which is why, I don't know, yeah, I think it might break the internet, but not because it's all good. Um, even if it is, animation is amazing and all that stuff, um, which it probably will be, since apparently they've had seven months of dedicated time for this episode. Um, so, see, in a lot of ways, it's kind of like um, One Punch Man, in the way that the the really big, like, not big, but like cool, like really interesting fights to watch isn't the main character like Saitama or Luffy? It's it's always the secondary ones. Normally, like Genos always has like really cool fights, or the other Escos yeah. has like, really Everyone cool. Everyone always loves like Zoro's fights. fights and yeah. Stuff. yeah, but like Zoro's fights are absolutely like that's one of the reasons he's so loved because yeah, the only reason he is it's all he has. Yeah, well, he's also just a really he's just a really really cool character. But yeah. um, that sort of he is quite. Not one dimensional, but more basic. Yeah, he's easy to like, right? If you like a badass character doing badass mm. things, then he doesn't. Yeah, mm. well, who, and who doesn't? Mm. Then you got Zoro. Mm. Easy job done. Like you, you've won the easiest favorite character to have. You will never be tested on that because he is always badass and is always doing badass things, right? You have never, like, no one has ever sat there as a Zoro fan and been like, uh oh. <laughs> right? Like, uh oh, how do I defend this? Except for when the Minority Hunter stuff occurred, right? That was the closest they got um, when Zoro got caught for being a racist. Um, 
But, like, as far as everything else is concerned, like, all the other characters, there's a bit of spice there. Um, and, like, you know, and, and Luffy has that, right? He is incredibly, like, inspiring and awesome and badass in his own regard, but he's also incredibly goofy, essentially, right? And that's the price you pay. <laughs> um, but for most people, that's not the price. That's the appeal. Um, yeah. That and is that, the appeal, and it's and those that's people. Why it's a different anime. That's why it's interesting to watch because it's not yeah. typical. Yeah, like, like you're gonna be like, "Oh, it's different. I don't like it." But but if it was the same, then you'd be like, "Oh, it's boring. It's the same." It, it's yeah. good to have variation. Like, like, why would you not want it? Like, yeah, Other than that, obviously, that, it does potentially cause some problems with that. That's another obviously a perspective that you know, Gear Fifth is gonna go down, and. You, we, people are going to be comparing it because I think everyone already knows what Gear Fifth is, right? Like when that dropped in just the chapter manga form, that broke the internet. Everyone was like, "Holy shit! What the hell? What the hell? What the hell?" Um, and now it's just being animated, and people are saying that's going to break the internet, which I'm not sure it will because you know it's just the animated version of it. But One Piece viewers appreciate the um, the animation more because because I remember watching like episode ten, and it's just like such shit animation yeah i mean because uh, it, it was like 20 years ago and and even then it, it didn't improve that much and it has never been really in line with other animes in visual yeah. quality and fluidity of stuff it i has would say it, it peaked, silly. It peaked I, liked, I liked it's really simple and basic and goofy as was yeah. what it is i don't need it to be as the same as everything else yeah but no yeah it, it was always different but yeah i mean this it's going to be comparing it to other main character power-ups in all the other series is gear fifth is going to be up there and shit you'll never see again right shit that, that you would never see a main character have a power-up like that it's just it, like, not even a main like it's just a character generally you just won't fucking see it um and you know it's, it's gonna be one of those things that i don't know it, it's gonna be interesting when it occurs but it is annoying that people are fucking hyping it up way too much. And they think it's going to be yeah. the shit. And I think a lot of people will be talking about it. I think a lot of people will be talking about it. Like, it will essentially consume it. was like Zoro stuff. Social media because Zoro it. stuff yeah. always looks visually appealing. And then Zoro gets some new yeah. stuff. And that's what I was hyped for. Because they do always go off with his things. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the, it wasn't even a main fight. But the Zoro versus Killer one, right? That shit almost that's well that shit started the um trend of one piece yeah. fights breaking the like just because it's just because one of them's good doesn't mean yeah but uh i don't know it, it's it's it probably won't pay off but it, it will be interesting nonetheless um either way i mean i don't know i i'm tempted i'm tempted to do like a blind view with like harry um, and watch the episode. I mean, you could we'll probably be there as well, maybe, but um, I think that would be kind of funny to do. Um, and by not really funny, but just something I would... If I'm going to get Harry to watch any episode completely blind, I kind of want it to be that one. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a perfect one. Especially since, once again, he's on Twitter. Like Harry's actively on Twitter, and I, I assume he's here, just not participating. Um, he will see it anyway, <laughs> like almost definitely. The, the, the spoilers are spoiled, man. It's too late for that, so I might as well, you know. Um, I mean, we know he's never gonna watch it, so that's why I'm not worried about him. Well, uh, you, you I don't think you heard earlier, but he does have intentions on watching the live action, um, and uh, I think that's pretty cool. Do you intend on seeing that? Yeah. yeah, probably. I mean, only because why not? Yeah, you could probably watch it with Kim. That might be a little bit more palatable. <laughs> for her. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Harry, if you're back, we can start talking about the thing. My name is Gilbert Godfrey, and I think that One Piece is mega <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gilbert Godfrey. I actually had a picture uh, of him over my picture. <laughs> you just had that prepared. I, yeah, the first time I did it, actually, I downloaded this picture, and it didn't let me actually put it on... Um, 
on on OBS, and then I looked. At, I went back to like my browser, and I saw that it actually detected a virus in the picture, <laughs> so it blocked it from downloading. <laughs> so it's like a zip bomb in a Gilbert Gottfried picture. <laughs> it's just a picture of his face. The first thing I looked up was Gilbert Gottfried face PNG. Um, I didn't get that. It's just I just got a rectangular picture of him. And I just fit it inside my profile picture barely. <laughs> and I just, and I'm just waiting. I wasn't going to stop you. Why would I? We got to fill. We got to pad the time. Yeah. Um, what was that last thing you said? Did you ask me something? To, uh, do you want to start? Do you want to talk about no. the main topic? No, I don't. Okay, then. All right, we we ended here. No, right. No, no. Well, okay. Um, we, I I have a fun, it's a very funny funny cool idea. We're going to talk about um secret invasion. So yeah. Thomas, did you actually finish it? I didn't hear. He did. <laughs> well, like, the 17th wow. time he said yes. How many times I have to fucking say this, man? Jesus. That is definitely only the second time at best. At most. Um, anyway. It's the second time we've heard. The other times he had technical difficulties, as he puts it. I'm having fucking technical difficulties right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's ruining no, the, just the audio. Yeah, it just, it's, it's, sometimes the kid just keeps struggling to pick up my mic. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler's also tickling his mic right now. I had uh, to open the window. I'm hot and sweaty and um, regretting watching. Uh, and regretty. <laughs> regretty. Yeah. Did you. Um, so the finale is actually the lowest rated MCU thing ever. I don't blame it. Um, it's I, got it's like 14% on Rotten Tomatoes. The yeah. finale. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. It, Honestly, I, the whole time I had this thought it was going to get good soon. <laughs> like, like, we talked about it, Tom. Like, we, we were like two to maybe three episodes in, and we were like, it's going to start soon. It's going to start soon. <laughs> like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start soon. And it ended without starting. It got Literally, worse, right? It had, I, it did nothing. It didn't. It didn't do anything to anyone or anything. No, it, it just killed like, Taylor. That's what it did. It did like maybe two things. Um, first of all, I'm not sure if I read this right, but has Rhodey been a scroll since? All right, so the, hold on. The legs got better. We're just right? okay. I know that. I, I don't know how many people are going to be drawn to this. Whatever. I'm just going to say, we're not going to not do spoilers because that's kind of the whole point of discussion. It's not going to be a structured review. I just thought this is just a free form discussion, so we're just yeah. spoiler warning I'm right sure from the start. No one would give a shit about it, considering the yeah, ratings. Yeah, probably not as well. If you're thinking of watching it and you're worried oh. about spoilers, don't watch it. Just listen to the spoilers so you don't have to watch it. Yeah, this is because once again, doing you a favor. The only thing of value that um, that comes out of it at the end is that I think maybe Rhodey has been a scroll since like he quotation marks recovered, right? Because he think he got his, he got his legs crippled. Oh, didn't he, during... since he recovered, no, no. Because okay, so the consensus, not the consensus, but a lot of people seem to think that he never since recovered. he got the end, it's since he got the injury, which would be um, Civil War. Which means that he was scroll in Infinity War and Endgame. I don't think that's true. The thing that gives out the most credence is just a, simply the fact that he's in a medical gown. That's they it. Implied, they implied that he has been in there for a long time. I, like, they implied that he's been in there for the longest of everyone, that he couldn't walk. Which, either that he's been in there for so long that he couldn't walk, or that he can't walk... And he's been in there for ages. Well, it, right, the problem kind of is, thing. I guess, in some ways, it, it, it doesn't exactly line up. Because I don't think you recover from that, right? You don't recover from a broken spot. Was no. it spine? So when so, he was in, like, a wheelchair, right, for, like, a while. No, he was in a wheelchair. Like, he had um, leg braces. He had, like, Stark Tech leg braces. So he could walk, like, but he still had all, to like, have them. They around in, like, Chernobyl. And so, like, they've all got fucking radiation poisoning that because they weren't actually... Like, the room that they're in was radiation-proof, but the rest of it wasn't, so, like... What's that do, if anything? Uh, the, the, oh, as right. they were leaving, they would have all got poisoned. Yeah, I guess. Ooh, is it, is it, was it really that bad? I assume, I guess it probably was, right? The only scrolls could have been all right there, but... Um, but no, no, he, he he couldn't get out of the thing that everyone else just walked out of, like, immediately. Like, he had to be carried out, out of the gate. Like, he was 
disabled in one way, shape, or yeah, form. He can't for walk. Some reason. And the only time that we saw him before Secret Invasion, like in between Endgame and Secret Invasion, was in the first episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and he was just walking around in a suit. He, like the braces are. The leg braces, they fit to his form, but the leg then. braces are big, right? They have to be on the outside of his trousers, and he wasn't... And I don't think they would just miss that. I think he was a scroll then, but I don't think he was actually well, a scroll was, in Endgame. He was I think it was after Endgame. After the blip. Yes. I think that much is clear. Yes. Um, which probably means that, yeah, during Endgame, he probably was a scroll, but in Infinity War, he probably wasn't. Um, yeah. I think that, that's probably the way that was thing which is cool ultimately like the smidge of they've been a scroll for a while now that's pretty cool oh like, you're saying oh we hold knew, on i just thought what you said you said he was a scroll in endgame but not infinity war during the blip i assume he they probably switched him out um, yeah that's actually it. very possible that would be interesting actually although that wouldn't be very, that's not really fair because like end game is they like, essentially well not... they essentially took over during the blip right they were still taking over there was a million scrolls when end game was occurring right um yeah then everyone came back i i think i don't know i think so um, or maybe after but either way, yeah, at some point Rhodey turned into a scroll. Hopefully, the the longer he's been a scroll, the cooler, I think. Like, that is kind of cool. Um, ah. But ultimately, I don't know, it, it's just kind of... That's, like, the only thing that was kind of cool by the end of this. I right? see the, uh, the, the uh, Nick Fury bait and switch at the end. Yeah, it made basically... But the I problem wish I, have with I that, saw that coming. It was um, all really... I just don't think that was very good because it basically he didn't really play a particularly important role in the finale, really. Nick Fury. It, except for the fact that it was probably his plan, right? To yeah. do that with God. Which I guess is the point. Um, I guess that's what yeah, he like does. He, he's only ever got other people to do things for him, yeah. right? <laughs> that secret invasion was the British woman. Oh, yeah. She was a fucking... She was a G. Like, she straight up... She, she oh, Olivia it. Coleman. Um, oh, shit. Yeah. Sorry. Us voice crack and it's and <laughs> through and it, the um through that she was the absolute fucking MVP at all times <laughs> she was just being absolute fucking the best yeah and only at the end did she like slightly slip up and she didn't know that Brody was a scroll and that was like it <laughs> like, yeah. um which was kind of fair yeah. enough but then she acted on it perfectly yeah which I think may have may, may be because it she probably occurred before she even really knew about it. I really think that Rhodey has been a scroll for so long that she didn't even suspect him. Because she seems to know like everyone else was a scroll, right? Like she knew that the guy that I think was her boss was like a scroll. And she just walked up and shot him in the head, like near the end, didn't she? Um like shit like that. Like she was really sharp on the whole scroll thing, but I don't know. Ultimately, yeah, like mean, fuck all really came from it, other than now Earth is apparently the enemy to all scrolls, like or like they they declared war on scrolls, which yeah. is, you know, a bit rough, considering, you know, like, and I, I don't, this is the thing. Well, it America did. America Fury. did. Yeah, the world I guess. Did. Yes, the world oh, did. They showed no, it, no. they showed footage in London, um, America outside 10 Downing Street. Them. Yeah, America yeah, declared wasn't... war in them, and they've got vigilantes throughout the entire world um, yeah. doing their job, which is essentially yeah. the entire world. Scrolls are no longer safe on Earth, no matter where they are, even if they're not actually scrolls, like the, the president did. Which um, I find it once again a woman prime minister uh, managed to not finish her time in a little amount of time. <laughs> um, oh shit! <laughs> um, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Sure. Oh shit. I was going to say I I, I don't know. Accurate. That. It's... Yeah, but it is it is once again the relationship between scrolls being on Earth has actually gotten significantly worse, and Nick Fury has fucked off back to space yeah <laughs> it's just a bit weird it's a weirdly consequential ending actually like it's not like it's a flat ending but it's still you know it's like oh it, shit there's actually bad things going on now after the series like that's what the series has resulted Nick in Fury but... just the whole time being kind of nothing throughout Nick it Fury, um, like... and he ended being even less than nothing he's just been removed from the picture entirely yeah, it, well, it, it felt like Nick Fury was going to redeem himself, essentially, that he did something bad in the past, which they obviously, well, technically Gaia was the one that explained Fury's thoughts and that to um, Stella. I yeah, I have name, a huge problem with that, and... though, because even if that was Fury's plan and his words, it wasn't actually him saying that. But I wish it was, because yeah. I think that's actually really cool. And I think that is what Nick Fury would say. To apologize. 
Like, like he genuinely. Oh no, no, I don't mean that. I mean him offering him offering Gravik all that power so that he could just go and take over some other planet because that's what Nick Fury. I like the idea that Nick Fury would be like that. Not not actually selfish, but he would be that harsh that he own you know to save humanity he would literally sacrifice just a random yeah, yeah. other alien species. Which, I mean, but no, 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 even if it was his idea was though, was, was Nick Fury. I know, but it still wasn't actually him. Yeah, but also the excuse and reasoning are so fucking shoddy, right? Let's not pretend for a second it was good. Apparently, and God forbid he told anyone else this, right? Apparently, within a couple of years, him and Danvers knew that there was no other planet out there. Apparently, in the entire fucking universe, there is not a single planet that these scrolls can live in. Not a single fucking planet. And they knew that within a couple of years, and they didn't tell anybody. That's... That was his plan. Pretty cool, man. Right? That that was the great fucking Nick Fury's like execution. And so, without telling the scrolls, just decided, you know what? I'll just try and make this world safe for scrolls. How did he do that? We don't fucking know. He didn't do anything, did he? he? In in no way, shape, or form, slowly introduced the scrolls to the world. He kept them a complete secret and made. And as soon as it got revealed, everyone's fucking shit the bricks. He completely on all levels. <laughs> Uh, in everything was doing a great job of implementing scrolls into the world but he's like nick if, gonna, if he knew they knew that they're immune to radiation they could live in radiated zones there's plenty yeah. of radiated zones oh, literally and the thing is is that the, the world as a whole there are like they kept saying that people like you know that it was like it was like i don't know it, was, it felt like there was an agenda for like giga racism where like people would not accept aliens that they just won't do that. The Earth is not capable of oh, that. Yeah. And it's such even though, forced even bullshit. They, yeah, because they have accepted tons of aliens. Yeah, like, like, I'm, I, I, Half I, of the Avengers are aliens. Yeah, yeah. Like, the Avengers, they, you know, one of the people who fought in, an like, alien. <laughs> right, right? Shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there is, there is no reason, that, there's no reason and no reason given as to why people would treat that way. Right, there was not a single instance in in, in the series where humans um, were treated scrolls in any way, shape, or form to give like basis to that claim. Yeah. Right, at no point they, they've already been through all those problems in like like the Thor films. It was them dealing with having aliens, and like so much throughout of the MCU, they've been dealing like it's just people becoming used to having aliens around. Yeah, the issue is is that normally those aliens are a threat as well, generally, right? Like the invasion of like London 2012 or whatever, right? Uh, was it London? No, New, New York. York. Um, it, would um, yeah. it would not be London. It would not. Yeah. Um, uh, and that. London around this moment. Yeah, uh, that was you know that was not probably great a look for aliens, but ultimately you know Thor did fight back. You know, he was an alien, and I don't know stuff like that. Um, and obviously there were the Guardians of the Galaxy, which I think people will know, probably know of at least from, from Thingy. Like, it's just stupid. And the writing was so shoddy that they never even showed it. Because if they wanted to make the claim that people will not like scrolls, they could have given examples. Right? They could have literally had Gravik turn in, like, just become a scroll in front of a horde of people and just have them run and scream away. And then he basically turns to Fury and he's like, see, <laughs> like, 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 or like, I don't know, just like basically just show that people will fear and hate um, scrolls no matter uh, what. The whole, the yeah. whole plot was shit. The execution was shit. And like all the yeah. characters were shit other than the British lady. Yeah, because she, she and well, even, no, even then she was bad, though. I'm sorry. Her thing started off in the beginning burn like scorched earth, kill all scrolls. The fuck happened to that? He is currently working with a scroll. Fuck. <laughs> what happened to kill all scrolls? Uh, like, I don't think she actually she hated them, though. Up. She, just, she just softened up when the plot needed her to for, to meet scrolls that it would it would be conflict for her to kill. Can you, can you imagine that? Actual conflict, other than the main shitty plot. <laughs> where like, she meets Gaia, and, and like she actually, you know, um, is like, the guy is on her side, but she's like, no, fuck all scrolls. And so that's like a bit of conflict. You can't really let those two people meet. Um, if she met with fucking Talos, right? Um, my boy. I don't know. And ultimately his death meant nothing. My really, boy. Right? Massive, what, my boy. what was the point in that, really? Yeah. 
guess um, just add just to put, like, right? to, you know, to like put yeah. some replace him basically. That was the point to replace him with like a younger replace actress. Anyway. Just because he doesn't need to die to be replaced. Every, like, like, you, it was yeah, already clearly because I think Nick Fury he wasn't well replaced. loved. He he was <laughs> replaced. <laughs> he was replaced by Gravik. That was the whole thing. He was their leader, but they just. He, he he wasn't doing a good job of it. I don't mean no. I, I don't really mean in the story Therefore, though. He had to go. I don't really mean in the story. I mean like they wanted. They just wanted to replace their main like scroll, good scroll character with someone else. So they just yeah. phased them out. Except this one just blows. Like she's just like she's just, <laughs> like like I'm I I obviously I don't really know him if he was in um like. Uh, Captain Marvel. I never watched that movie, but like he, it actually seemed really good because he genuinely, he was a pacifist through and through, right? Like, he genuinely could not bring himself to kill anyone, um, and I think that in these mo- like in the Marvel is so fucking interesting because everyone else just kills without thinking. They just yeah, it's it almost just, been like um, is so natural. It's, it's like being um, sterilized to be sterilized as in violence just, doesn't matter it's like from the start iron man's just killing people right and I, and I think and i think there's a good example of this within the show right when talos was around nick fury shooting someone had weight to it right it feels like every time nick fury shot someone he was betraying talos and talos was annoyed and like upset and it and it was like challenging both of their perspectives essentially but in the end when talos was dead nick fury was killing motherfuckers everywhere well yeah and that's why i said it got worse because they the did violence, the violence i think weightless. even if it wasn't as good as it could be they still had a genuinely interesting dynamic that could have been could have gone further as well it just didn't they just cut it off um <laughs> it's just annoying it's just frustrating they, they just like they're like, oh look, the, the all the pro- potential <laughs> just been just been yeah. squashed by and, this no, person. No, no, power. No, no, they win. Yeah. No, I think yeah, but that is is it's perfectly that as well, right? That there genuinely was a plot line where Nick Fury admits his fault, Talos with the pacifism, like just befriends, or like like somehow it is solved due to words not violence but instead we got a shitty cgi power fight and that's how it was resolved oh my god it's actually been a bit of retroactive like um she hulk was right stuff because i actually from what i know she hulk's finale was still like sort of like um interesting to people that part of it wasn't necessarily shit on because she hulk's finale was like a very very direct fourth wall break where it's like step yeah. into like not that necessarily the real world, but sort of like a fake version of the real world. And she was like looking at the episode and she's like, are you really just going to do this? Just have like two like similarly powered guys just fight each other. <laughs> and then yeah. they just did it again. They did the one division thing again. And you know what I've seen? Do you know what I've fucking seen? I've actually seen people like, um, I saw one person say that like, first of all, the Moon Knight hate is so fucking insane that I see. Like, so I saw some... This isn't as bad. I saw someone be like, this actually makes Moon Knight's finale look good, which still annoyed me, right? Because it but, was. <laughs> but then I saw someone who was like, this is actually better than the Moon Knight finale. I am oh, so God. fucking, fl- like, floored by the fact that Moon Knight is not held, like, high in the MCU. Because I actually think it's like... it's. I think it's the best series they've done. I think it's, it's actually better perfect, than Loki. It no, is, it's not perfect, it, like, but it's still so good. It, for the MCU, it's still pretty good, actually, yeah. I think. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that you have your, like, gratuitous action scene at the end of Moon Knight, right? Like, there is, like, the whole fighting and, like, him switching personalities and it. even like, uh, Pharaoh, right? Shouting ideals like, 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 and shit. Yeah, but ultimately, those ideals are kind of shallow. Like, they're not, they don't really delve into it amazingly, but still, at least they have ideas, right? Like, the closest, obviously, Secret Invasion got was pacifism, right? And Talos representing pacifism in, in the, you know, violence is not the way. It only makes it worse, which is very good and very handy nowadays, right? The amount of people and extremists that are using violence to get their point across, ultimately entirely invalidating the cause they pre- like, pretend to, to speak yeah. for. Like, That's what ended up happening. Yeah, and ultimately... It, it, yeah, it, it, it did Everyone show that, you the know, fight just made it worse. Whereas if they yeah. attempted for a peaceful resolution like Talos, because every time Talos was implementing his peaceful nature and peaceful stuff, things got better. Now, and that's the thing, though, is I genuinely believe that Secret Invasion is slash should have been portrayed as a loss. 
Well, Genuinely, it, I kind of felt like it was lost. a little bit. Yeah, but it really didn't know, did it? Right? Like, Nick Fury. Oh, yeah, Nick Fury still, like, you know, he got his wife to come with him onto this. They both fucked off to save yeah. her together, like, and that's, you... like, happy that they're leaving yeah. human. They're leaving Earth to be go to fucking shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I, hope, I hope Rosie just gets out and looks at what's going on and is just like, fuck it, he just kills everyone. That's what I want to happen. <laughs> just, I, mean, I assume they probably will pick up some of it in Secret Wars, right? Like, they probably, um, Rosie being War, such an important... Probably not. not. Um, Armor Wars. That's Armor what, Wars. Yeah. Possibly. Probably will play with, like, some of it. Um, well, you know what, least. I'm actually genuinely... Okay, obviously, I know the MCU's been sort of a bit of a downward spiral in all aspects. Obviously, the, the shows are, in general, worse than the movies still, though. And obviously the most recent movie was seemingly very good. So I'm still actually happier than not that Armor Wars is actually going to be a movie instead of a show. Um, that's still, that's at least better than it being a series. It doesn't mean it's like yeah. going to be well, amazing. But I wouldn't, I would say that, but I also, is, I would say that I was looking forward to that with Rhodey being, you know, pretty reintroduced into the world. Like he's, depending on when he was taking out, that can be really interesting. Well, yeah, well, right? Tyler, I would just say, it would be, it was, I'd actually yeah. prefer it be a series if they could do series properly. They actually weren't six episodes. Yeah, no, like, yeah, dog fair. Like shit, um, you know, dog water. Movie, the movie's better than in that. A movie, in a movie, I don't know how much time they're going to dedicate to him Kind well, of, yeah, they think coming back need to have such a large scale plot. Like they can just be there to establish characters. Yeah. They, and circumstances. Yeah. Like they could have just been used to establish scroll characters and scroll motives and scroll problems. And then just that that could have been it. Like just having good characters with good problems. They don't need to where everything have to come to some massive fight and resolution or big problem. It can just be character development. Yeah, well, and that's another thing as well. Like, I really like graphic made so little sense at the end, like as well. Yeah, like, like, yeah. like, like, literally, like, I think that was that was attempting the point that ultimately his revenge got so far beyond his cause, like his quotation marks cause of like finding a home for the scrolls or anything like that. Clearly, wasn't the case when he was actively trying to nuke the scrolls. Um, although it seems like he had moved all the scrolls away somewhere, which we have not like a seen. Villain that had motive to just a cunt. Yeah, and I, I, I would say I don't that could that. be done well. That genuinely could be done There's well. There's almost not enough of that, I'm... to be fair, but they also did try and give him a motive. He's not just a pure evil villain. Um, but they kind of failed. Not being that, though. Yeah, I know, that's, that's the problem with that. He started... What? he started with actual conflict, like, of an actual purpose of well, um, the pur purpose... Oh, jeez, he's left. Oh, dear. Oh, I left. No, 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 you're there. You're still there. Okay. I don't know what that was. I don't know. Hello? You're back. I'm back. Yay! Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I feel like it, it, it kind of tried portraying Gravik. He could have been redeemed in the end. He could have, like, <laughs> it could have actually all been working towards what they said they were working for, actually finding Skulls at home. The thing is, I and would say been the thing. Gravik, Gravik probably should have died. But I would say he could still have been... I, I think he needed to, to realise that Talos was right. That would have been an incredibly good thing. That him using all of his brute force, all of his murder, all of his everything, ultimately led the Scrolls to hating him, fear them. And he should have yeah. witnessed the Prime Minister declare war on Scrolls. So I guess maybe not die in the end. Like He should have seen that Talos was right. And that and what Talos he also did... also should have realised that he, his ideas were flawed as well. In that, that Nick Fury wasn't really finding him home in the end, and yeah. that that wasn't working. And, and he should have figured that he out. Should not have actually have trusted Fury. Well, he didn't really trust Nick Fury. In all fairness, he no, brought all of his people over in. anyway. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I think it's really, it's a weird show which I feel like it was so close to having so many interesting ideas, interesting dynamics, and an interesting payoff that ultimately fell short due to I could argue not enough episodes and not enough time like genuinely they did not have enough time to develop all of the perspectives and arguments that there were right like it, it was there was so much that they could have done with some of the cool ideas which ultimately just devolved into a bunch of people getting angry at each other a couple of people dying and then a giant cgi fire at the end um, the problem is, wasn't that with... it wasn't really giant here's the it's, i guess it's a pretty big problem i have in general is that they just don't 
seem to put the right effort in the right places, or at least they're just spread so thin, which is not actually... That's definitely Disney's fault, by the way, them being spread thin, by the way. But I just yeah. mean something like something like that fight. You've just created the two most powerful beings in the entire MCU in that moment, and yet that fight has no weight behind it whatsoever. That should I think be the huge. First of all, I'm genuinely I'm lost out loud. Power for, like, development. Genuinely well, first of all, it's like, it's, you don't even need that much. It's like, yeah. You, yeah, that was pretty funny. But you don't even need to go that far. It's literally, you can stop at four and Captain Marvel and like those that DNA alone. Yeah. But they added Gaia, so much more. I, I, I spoiled this to someone after I watched it. Gaia is straight up the strongest being in the universe. Yeah, right now. okay. I find this kind of funny. I don't actually hate this. I find this because, as far as I know, she's not a pre established, well, she's not a character in the comics. She's just completely, she's just sort of out there in the world, just the, the most powerful being, like. Maybe even in the universe at the moment, just ran, just like I don't know, milling about on Earth. No one knows that she's though, pet that they're, powerful. They're like, oh, I find that kind like of funny. People to pay attention to new characters due to their power and not due to anything else. Yeah, yeah I guess like, so. I genuinely, I'm, I'm really unsure if that was actually a genuinely like a choice they made on purpose. That they realized with the stakes that they were going up to that they actually needed more trump cards, right? Like, like, if they were looking somehow looking at Kang and thought he's going to be so strong that we need someone with all of the abilities of the the older like the, everyone that was in Endgame combined, because I'm not sure if I saw it right, but she's also got Thanos's ability, like Thanos's strength, right? Yeah, like, what does that really like, mean? That doesn't mean much. Just Thanos. But she also has all of yeah. Thanos's like friends as well. Yeah. Like they used co like Col Obsidian's so like a weird amount. I did not understand the fascination with Col Obsidian. I think like, that's just because they had his arm. Yeah, but it was like constantly. I mean, it, it was like the constantly. biggest DNA sample they had, basically, or something. I think it's the reason. It was why. the oldest one they had, but once he got the new ones, I don't know why he wasn't switching out. I mean, I mean, Ebony Moore is had... far more like that's far more powerful. Ebony Moore's like the magician. Um, yeah, which one. he did use. Um, I did kind of like, and I don't think it, they really did it that much, but like the um, Gaia used more of the subtle, interesting ones, where Gravit used most of just the big arms. But then eventually they ditched that, and then even he used the the magician one, uh, which I think would have been cool. Because when she used Mantis, that was kind of cool, not as cool as it tried to make you think it was with the epic music. Like I'm sorry, but fuck off, like Jesus. Um, Mantis so and Ghost. You might not even know who Ghost is from Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, no, I, and I people did watch thought that. that one for so, some uh, a couple of people yeah. I saw called out like, "How did he, how did she shrink um, without pin particles?" Well, she did. She didn't actually shrink. Because uh, yeah. I wouldn't assume Ant Man's DNA is even in there because that doesn't mean in a fake. Um, yeah. you, you just need a pin particles to shrink. So it was Ghost's ability. Someone thought that she, she shrunk, but no. Um, so that's not I, what that is. I'm worried that that's actually a, a slight inclination to. Um, she's technically not the strongest because she doesn't quite have access to Ant Man's abilities, and maybe so he's the strongest. But uh, and you know he's already beaten Kang, I guess, which I've still not seen that movie. I don't think I ever will. But... <laughs> Seems pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was meant to be. Um... I think it was in but the, the Ant -Man, Ant Man movies are in part, um, but that movie yeah, was it's... not meant to be as dumb as it was i don't know i don't know what to make of quantum mania the introduction of kang to the big screen probably shouldn't have been in a comedy movie right i feel like that you well know, they, i think they of... didn't i think they didn't actually want it to be a comedy movie i think that was the kind of the point it was meant to be pretty drastic shift in tone from the other ant-man movies um, yeah, which was a bad idea because Ant-Man doesn't suit anything other than a comedic tone. It's fucking Ant-Man. It's kind of funny how much like, I just I don't understand because like, it's the same director, right, for all three Ant-Man movies. But the first one is so much better than a lot of the MCU, actually. Do, do you know I why? Do you know why? Do you know why that is? Yeah. Do you know who wrote Ant-Man? You know? Oh no, Edgar um, Wright. Was... Oh right. <laughs> he was going to direct it as well. That's the thing. He wrote it, but then he he dropped. He couldn't like put up with Marvel. Basically, so it was like I fuck think, it. I'm out of here. So that's why it's so good because he probably just had left leftover Edgar Wright influence. So Peyton Reed probably isn't even the reason that it was that good. I think I, no, I think there's, there's another thing as well. Both movies tried introducing something like new. Like obviously, I mean, like the, the other one actually introduced the quantum realm, right? And this one obviously delved into it. And I think, generally speaking, it seems like the quantum realm is just kind of shit. 
Like, it's just really shit, and it just kind of ruins everything it does. Yeah, that's what I think, man, because it still, yeah. like, teases those elements, but it's, like, pretty grounded for the most part, and it looks good, like, all the way through. Like, the effects, like, the, like, the camera work they use when he's small is, like, really awesome, and it's just got creative fights. I think the first Ant-Man movie is really underrated, actually. Um, yeah, I think it's, up it's there. not the greatest thing in the world, but it, it's all right. No, I mean, the villain's a... fucking terrible. Um, let's not pretend. Uh, <laughs> like... No, but that, but it, the, what the Ant Man's a really good example of though having two villains with the sim, with two characters with similar powers, but having actually be interesting because it obviously they're pretty much the same, but it's literally just the fact that they're small and what they do with that is interesting. Um, it wouldn't make sense if one wasn't small, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously, one couldn't shrink. Um, Whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't what, know. What a fucking uh... cast they had for Secret Invasion as well. Kind of. But it's just like, just Samuel Jackson as the lead. And yet it's just kind of whack. Well, I'm not sure Samuel Jackson should be a lead. No, I, mean, I He's almost an amazing agree. actor. Don't I be wrong, agree. But like, he's not really a lead. He, 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 he nails like secondary characters or even secondary antagonists. Right, like he he is a very uh, immaculate secondary or like mentor. Well, he's or like, per- on those like he's like perfect for literally every role except protagonist. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I re- I really do think so. Like I I heard like, him at points. I, ju- I just thought I I I just heard Valentine from Kingsman, which is obviously my favorite. Hmm? Hateful Eight. No, I haven't. But that's not I, his most popular were, role. Was just like. You know, Nick Fury probably is up there. When when he was like shouting, whenever he raised his voice, I just hear the guy from Pulp Fiction <laughs> when he's like fucking start shouting. I still heard like, Valentine. Oh, he, <laughs> yeah, he's he is he he is one note in his in him, which I mean Valentine is an exception to that, I would argue, which is why it's kind of weird that you think about. It. But like he is not exactly a diverse actor in who he is, um, but. And that works fine for essentially all the other characters because any secondary he's character... He's not particularly diverse in the personalities by... of his characters. They're all sort of Samuel Jackson, but he's still... Yeah, those characters don't need to be much more than anyone. And then Samuel Jackson get, puts in the seat and like, oh, they're a Samuel Jackson character. They're now cool. But Nick Fury is kind of like... It's his it's an, its own thing, right? Nick Fury, I mean, he's also Samuel Jackson, but like he's almost bigger than Samuel Jackson. Almost, but I feel like it falls back this time. Nick Fury is not bigger than Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson is the character, and Nick Fury is just the label and the scars, right? It yeah, re- this series like... almost made Nick Fury less iconic. I feel like Nick Fury is iconic because you don't know anything like, about what, him. Almost. I, yeah, what is Nick Fury good for? Making a team? Like, is what? Like, who is Nick Fury? You would have thought the 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 thing he's the protagonist of would have answered that, like. What makes Nick Fury? And arguably, you could have then looked at so who would be the next Nick Fury because everyone's getting their torch passed on, um, and none of that was answered. It was genuinely a waste of time. The entire thing. Um, as long as you know that there is now a scroll with the ability of all of the people in Endgame, um, and Rhodey was been a scroll. If you want to watch Secret Wars, you're probably going to know that. Um, so. Oh, Those two things are all you need to know, really. Because I, I I doubt... I mean, the scroll thing might come up in um, Secret Wars, like actual Secret Wars, right? Um, but I don't know how or why, right? Unless Gaia revolts. That's probably really the only sure, thing, His right? thing is that he's always been there. It always is planning something. And it always seems to know what's going on. Yeah, but he's kind of like things. what the well, British I... lady is now. Yeah, but I, I would argue that, it, honestly, a lot of things might get paid off if we even so much see more than a couple atoms of sword, right? But that is what everything... Well, hold on, no, 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 it's not um, sword, though. Fury... They changed it a little bit, because sword was um the offshoot. I don't think they were an offshoot of S.H.I.E.L.D. in this universe, actually, because they were the ones who, like, had Scarlet Witch in, like, containment and stuff like that. It's Saber, is pretty much that's what they've done now. Right. Saber, there's, a, there's, all, there's three of them now. Or at least I don't think Shield exists anymore. It's it's turned into Saber, and Sword is something else. Sword is like I th- I think Sword came out of Shield still, but Saber came out of Nick Fury. Um, Sword isn't then, affiliated yeah, with Nick Fury. Fucking Saber! Like if we can if we see the fruits that Nick Fury has been doing for like the last five or so years or whatever, I'm not sure. Um, oh God, cat! 
Um, <laughs> if we see that, then it might actually, you know, add some value to the fact that he left. Because as far as we know, he's left and done nothing. <laughs> Did Hardly. nothing after he left. Especially since the only time we actually saw him was in, what, Spider-Man, uh, the second movie. Um, and he was just literally sitting there in, like, a fake beach scene. Like, it didn't look like he was particularly working hard up there either. Yeah, that's... <laughs> hold on, hold on. And no one talked about the fact that he was at um, Tony's theory when Endgame. That wasn't him, was it? That was just a scroll. Could have been. That, I mean, no, there's no way that wasn't just a scroll. It, it seems like he just went straight up, apparently, didn't he? Like, as soon as he got back... Um... Uh, at least that's what they believe. Like, I don't know. It's just, it really feels like no one gives a shit. Yeah, right? that's why I think, the, that, well, this is why I think something people... like Moon Knight is actually good because I talk about how I think they are spread too thin. Moon Knight is the kind of thing that doesn't suffer from it being spread too thin because it does, it's not really tied to anything else. It's yeah, pretty simple. Like, um, yeah. But this is, this is pre established character, a lot of pre, quite a few pre established characters and pre established plot lines. But they just don't and have the, the creative it, drive, or maybe even the, just the creative means to do it properly. Yeah. And it puts you under the illusion that by the end of the series, something will have changed as well, or that you need to watch this because of the future of the series, right? Like it feels like an important enough development that you know all the scrolls that are on Earth have have re revolted and stuff like that, and there's something has changed dramatically. Yet ultimately. This probably won't come up until Secret Wars, if then. I wouldn't even say that if it wasn't called Secret Wars, right? Like, um, it what? Feels Which like one are you talking about like... now? What? Are you sure you're talking about Secret Wars? Yeah, I'm saying that I did not... It, it, I do not Secret feel... Wars. Yeah, I do not feel like Secret Invasion would have mattered at all if it wasn't for Secret Wars. Like, well, Secret Wars doesn't actually have anything to do with Scrolls. No? No. Secret Wars is, is Kang, still. Secret Wars is Scrolls. No. You mean no? It's not. No? And never mind then. Then it doesn't matter. Then just like the Eternals, it will never matter. No one's gonna ever bring it back up. <laughs> Which, once again, it has been years and no one's mentioned the the Celestial sticking out of planet Earth. Oh god. It's just not come up. It, um, fact, apparently in it's not in the, the picture of the Earth or the, the AI-generated Earth in fucking Secret Invasion. There's no hand coming out of Earth. <laughs> the AI-generated intro. <laughs> yeah, you would have thought Nick Fury would have brought it up, right? I've been in space for a couple of years, and now there's a hand sticking out of Earth. What the fuck occurred? Apparently, the Nick Captain America 4, will, that will be part, like, play a role in, like... The people fuck? trying to like mine it or something. What the fuck are they going to have to do with that? That is way beyond their pay grade. Fucking oh, no, man. a Falcon suit and a guy with a metal arm are supposed to deal. No, with Rhodey's this not in. No, Bucky's not in there. Here. Bucky's not in Captain America Four. He's not going to come up until like ever. No, no, like, he's going to be in Thunderbolt. So Thunder, which is what they're ending Phase Five with. Just like, you know, it's like the anti Avengers thing. Like, um. Yeah, Is it's he like, going to be in them. Because remember, <laughs> that's the new um, Nick Fury. Remember, it's that woman. Uh, the the what, what's her name? Madam Hydra, know, whatever. The fact that you no, don't I actually know do know. That. I do actually do know her. Um, it was that just a point? Um, something Defontaine. I can't remember her last. Yeah, well, the fact that, that you can't just say her but name she was immediately like, proves that she is not the new Nick Fury. Um, but no, she, she is, is for that side of it though. She's putting together the Thunder Thunderbolt, so which is like um, the yeah, new which Black is a Widow. Bunch of losers, right? Uh, Fucking ghost, uh, Red Hulk yeah, should be in there. Bunch, the Winter Soldier, a ton of people Red Guardian, that Lost. Yes, it's actually pretty boring. You look at the look at the, the like the, the team that they showed like when they announced the film. They're all fucking just super like strength people except Ghost. Um, and Ghost is the one with like the who's had like the least screen yeah, time as no well. No one gives a shit. Well, no one knows she who existed, Ghost is. and she didn't even. Did she, was she in like Endgame? Did she no. appear at the end? No, Ghost no. Just hasn't been around since Ant Man and the Wasp at all. She's just. Yeah, just forgotten about basically. I, I don't know. They, it's just, it's just bigger shit. It, it is, it is. The people in the projects don't really care, and therefore they don't bother to check what's in the other stuff. I mean, there was a thing. Um, because I think the it? actors do. I think the actors do genuinely. Maybe, but they, they, there's only so much they can do. What was it? It was. Oh yeah, uh, they recorded. Um, they had um, one multiverse of madness done. Uh, not Multiverse of Madness done, but they were recording Multiverse of Madness before WandaVision was done, 
right? Um, which actually means that they didn't know what her arc was, right? I don't know if that's true, they actually. They genuinely didn't know the results of... Uh, they did not know what WandaVision occurred to her during multi, like, Multiverse of Madness. And that's essentially why Wanda goes through the same arc twice. Um, with, of like, oh, my children, oh, I, um, I've been so wrong, I need to redeem myself. Like, that's That occurred twice. Because... They didn't know they'd already done it the first time, like uh, Raimi and all that, right? Um, or even Wanda, like, because I think that's how we know it, because she talked about it in an interview about how, yeah, they hadn't even, like, uh, yeah, Wonder Vision hadn't even finished, like, before they were recording Madness. Um, and it's that just... might not be true. Uh, let's find out. I just saw the date for when they started filming Doctor Strange. Um, Wonder Vision production. When did it start filming? Ay 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 Can't find it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you're right. I don't care. <laughs> Point is, is that genuinely, like they can't tie stuff together. Everything is getting put out so quickly that you genuinely can't tie things together well enough i right? i really hope the, the strikes best thing they did was one division on going into multiverse of madness and it was not great <laughs> i mean it wasn't bad either but like it's like they were both fairly mid in regards to most stuff like at least continuity um like second of all vision's back right vision's around has been for god knows how long <laughs> fucking i learned anything from him right yeah like uh, yeah. God, I, I forget how shit One Division was. Um, I mean, it was actually Spanish really cool. Up, what? A random bitch, there's no reason. Like, <gasps> Agatha. Agatha Coven of Chaos, you mean? <laughs> yeah. What's the point? Genuinely. Uh, yeah, I don't know how. I just don't know how they made the like, decision to put else. resources towards that. I just don't. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. I really I fucking hope this strike changes things. I think yeah, it probably. Because be, because she's a pretty iconic actress, especially after um, Glass Onion, that, that might honestly be the reason. Because fuck me, is she is, is that just a waste of time and energy? Like, that like, they should genuinely like you would have thought with limited resources and time that they would actually focus down on the characters and the stories that people want to hear them tell or that they would want to tell, and not Agatha Coven of whatever the fuck, right? <laughs> not that. Um, like, it was actually not, it actually um, was originally going to be called House of Harkness, which I actually don't think is that bad, just as a it's name. Still but I don't. Um, it's still a stupid idea. It's still a stupid. Yeah. I it it's just there is genuinely there, there must be just be no communication between like anyone. Well, the problem is I think Secret Invasion should not be one of the ones where it's like what what was the point of this? It yeah. should have been something <laughs> I know, really that's why great. I kind of watched it. Right? I think that's why we were kind of like, I mean, you know, we were sold on, you know, getting to see more Samuel Jackson, Cool Beans, Nick Fury. Cool and it Beans. was totally different. Yeah. It wasn't as silly was as a lot of other stuff. That is true. That was that was true. You know, and then uh, I'll be back. that raised expectations for quality as well, somehow. Um, well, not somehow, but it did. And uh, it wasn't smart. I guess literally, I think because Andor happened. Um, and they were like, ah, oh, maybe, maybe. Uh huh. Did yeah. Tom cover, cover no, 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 no. I just paused. I just, I was just saying. Yeah. I just, I, I realized that. Um, I think it, it was some. It was ever so slightly justified that the um, the arc, like, the tone, for some people implied higher quality, or they expected more quality because of Andor also being under Disney and basically being the same idea, where it's like a well, dark, slightly darker, more serious tone, and it reflected it... in the quality as well. So I mean, think people like, thought it was going to be that. People were literally saying it's going to be the MCU's Andor. That was like sort of a lot, of, a lot of people's expectations going into it. it. Was actually deflated for most people from the first episode. By the way, um, <laughs> everyone realised you know the first yeah. episode was fine, but you know, you know, well, it, 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 it was kind of because you know if you break away from the Disney schlock factory cookie cutter thing, people think if you're breaking away, it must be good enough to deserve it breaking away. Right, because that's kind of how it is. Disney won't sign off on something that isn't cookie cutter unless it's good, or at least that's what I think people generally think. Um, but clearly, this proved otherwise. Because I would say, you know, Moon Knight broke away from that cookie cutter thing for at least four of its six episodes, um, and 
paid off, I think. I mm, don't but... think any of Moon Knight was actually cookie cutter. I would say maybe the third the... episode, like the middle yeah, one. The, the, the very middle one. Um, I mean, it was weirdly horror, weirdly horror, but ultimately was definitely a lull and a kind of bad bit because. The mystery of Mark and that had all kind of disappeared, and everyone kind of knew what was going on, and then didn't know what was going on. Because like the finale (laughs) was kind of a bit typical stuff, but it was still done very well and was actually engaging because you actually cared. The fake out of the fight. It was also played. What I mean, it was good. It was actually better than most examples of that, and it was also placated even then from being similar by the fact that they did the fake out thing anyway. Yeah. So I actually think that finale like, is quite good too. Yeah, like uh, the you know you know how this fight scene goes, and I just should cut probably it. rewatch it though. And I don't I don't know if I really have to. I, I think it's still probably very fair. My opinion is still probably will probably still hold that it's. I think quite good that, in the M- as, like in the MCU, especially recently. I think but the first I should couple, probably still the watch first it again. episode or two would hold up. I genuinely think that stuff would be really good to rewatch. I think the middle ones would probably drag a lot. Um, like I don't remember any of it, and then maybe the. Death stuff probably won't kick as hard, but it might still be alright. That's my assumption going into a rewind. I like the music as well. There was a lot of not knowing, and that really, that really played a big part in the enjoyment of it. And that yeah. well, that's that's why I think for a second the viewing middle middle kind of blue is because at that point you knew everything. You knew who the villain was. You knew his goal. You knew why they were there, who they were, all that stuff. But um, at the beginning and at the end, you had all of that kicked out of you. Um, and like, okay, is this reality? Are they in um, heaven? Are they in whatever the Egyptian one of that is? What's going on? Is this even real? Like, and then who the hell is this other one that keeps flipping in and out? That kind of stuff, right? Where are all you, that Dracula, shit you big fucking up. nerd? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that stuff was interesting and worth talking about after the fact. But let's be honest, Secret Invasion is not going to be talked about again. Um because yeah, it was like, and also f- keep in mind, Moonlight would have been so much better if it was one of like only three or four at most projects that year. But it was still probably made worse by how much they were doing at the time. Once again, it's, it's having an effect even on the good stuff. Maybe not Guardians Three. I don't know. Still haven't seen it. Um, can't see it still. Kind of Looking could. To that. Could. I watched one literally like before we started ready. this. Um, wow. Wow. It's it's yeah, it's good. To no one's surprise, it's fucking good. It's a fucking good movie. Ending's really quick though, really rushed. I think almost like J- James Gunn's actually quite good, and there's he's probably not gonna do. A, a, he's probably gonna do a pretty good job at DC, maybe. Even though they still, I, uh, it's way too soon still. <laughs> I I think I think they're actually lucky to have the strike because it probably means that movie's gonna be like twenty twenty six or twenty seven instead of twenty twenty five. Just because he's good at making a movie doesn't mean he's good at making hundreds of movies that he's not even making, right? Um, like, I don't know. Well, no, he's done good producing work already, and he's directed multiple good movies. And one of them was Suicide Squad. And one of one, another thing he's directed that was good was also a, a TV series. Both of those things are in DC. He's done a fantastic trilogy. He's also done a fantastic standalone movie and a fantastic TV series recently. Um, in the genre so i think you know no one can really be prepared for exactly what his job is no at the one, moment one's probably better qualified than him but it just begs the question if anyone can be qualified no, that's for that what i mean that's what i mean though so he might as well be the most qualified that's like functionally because it's not a it's, it's not like a, a job it's a thing is a there's only one of that person really it's actually true because it's not the same as Kevin Feige. It's actually split between two people at DC. Um, Kevin Feige is like both like a businessman and a creative person, whereas James Gunn is not as much of a business person in, in DC. He's more just focused on the creative stuff. And there's another guy who's like the other half, um, you got which is probably better. Guy. I'm sorry. Every single bad movie that if, uh, comes out from that from now on will be blamed on him and not Gunn. Yeah, no the only, one's gonna blame Gunn. I, I think the worst, shit. like the the most like worrying part about that is how like, how much James Gunn praised the Flash before it came out. <laughs> Obviously, he probably had to. Like, let's be honest, he had to. But it still felt really like you're not even gonna give a hint that it was gonna be this bad. You're not even like these subtle. If you actually think it's good, then that's off to a very bad start. Exactly. Then, right? Yeah. The fact that, well, you know, they hire the director of Flash. It's like 
officially directing the, the the next Batman film, the um the DCU one, not the not the Robert Pattinson one, which is obviously probably the best thing that DC's done in a long time. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think about the fact that there's literally like a new Batman series sort of like in motion, a new Batman series of films. What's the news on Joker 2? Is that still occurring? Yeah, yeah, I think it might have been filmed. If it hasn't been filmed, it's been stopped. It has been filming and was stopped due to the actor's strike. Or, or it's already been filmed. Either way. Um, wow. Wow. Yeah, I don't know, it's... Um... There's a lot of shit coming out nowadays. There's a lot of good not stuff a lot too. Of people are watching it. There's mm. a lot of, people sort of gloss over the. There is good stuff. People just kind of like to ignore it because the biggest stuff isn't good. That's the only reason why. Because the biggest stuff is bad. Um, the stuff everyone talks about isn't the good stuff, really, is it? Like, no. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it is. I mean, like, uh, uh, it's actually quite annoying. Mission Impossible, as far as I know, didn't flop, but it's actually not doing anywhere near as well as it should. As in, it should be doing well. That's a movie that was actually worth the amount the of money spent is, on Harry, it. Harry, the issue is, is that like too many movies other than that is coming out for people to be watching that. Instead, Focused on franchise right? films rather than both Oppenheimer and Barbie, which you know sounds funny, but like not only do they have that amazing phenomenon going on, that's like that it's viral marketing, but you know it's also just two completely standalone big films. They're going to make a lot of money. You'd have to watch, what, nine other ones? Is it? Mission Impossible 7 is. Right. Um, Also, you don't... They're not... But the thing is, that's not really fair Mission Impossible because really you only need to go from, like... The only ones actually um, carry on from each other, like, properly is, like, five, six, and seven. It starts at five because that's been the same director since. And it really only matters from three onwards. That's the only time. It's it's not as bad as... That's way more than... Other stuff. Yeah, know, but it's also genuinely good, and it's sick. it's held its integrity. It's not like Fast and Furious, which is even longer and is not worth it as much at all, and it's way more expensive. Those films as well. Mission Impossible is genuinely holding its integrity as a franchise, but unfortunately, it's still not quite good enough. The issue is, it's also just it's like no one knows that everyone's just lumped Mission Impossible into like the same thing as. Um, well, they kind of should know the because the last one did very well, was very well received, and then obviously Tom Cruise is having a bit of resurgence anyway, considering how well Top Gun did. But then Top Gun is almost like completely severed. There's only one other film, and it was like a very long time ago. Um, I don't yeah, know what to make of that. Did so well, I think. Cause yeah, because it it's easier. basically standalone. It's almost yeah. standalone, and even then, it's like this one film, and most people yeah. had already seen by then. Mm. Yeah. Um. Sam. But there is still other good stuff, like like other series, um, mainly in the series space, shows. Some of which get worse, like The Witcher. <laughs> some of which are getting are still going strong, now, right? like The Boys, or yeah, like The Boys or Invincible. Actually, I don't know if you've seen any of the Invincible season two news. You probably wouldn't, I assume. Um, I watched Invincible, but I'm I'm not I'm not swooning over it. It's no, not. I'm not either. I just think it's not nice. All that. I like it. I like the fact that it's like um, it's still like a gen. It's not a satire actually. It's not no. a satire. I like that actually. They actually put out a new episode recently. <laughs> it's an Atom Eve origin episode. But it's still like a full episode, and I don't get why people like complain about like how long that takes those are like 50 minute episodes 40 50 minute episodes of an animated series like that shit takes a long time and even then um they've like recorded all of like the season three dialogue already they like, made that clear that season three won't take as long because they've already done all the dialogue which actually means obviously animators aren't under like the writer's strike or the actor's strike so they can get they can you know you can slay the animators away <laughs> On yeah, because I'm, I'm 100% sure they're getting underpaid as well. Yeah, they probably, probably are. Like a CGI strike either, you there know, should they're should be. I, honestly, I really do think the best way forward is just for the entire industry to halt for a bit. So they... Yeah, just like the entire yeah. industry is basically just for all the people up above making the poor decisions, getting all the money and destroying the industry that I assume they all love being a part of. They, those are the people that need to get fucked over real hard. Um, and... As it stands right now, they're probably not really. Yeah, I saw like um, Brian Cranston giving like a speech, like in, in like 
in the strikes, in the actor strikes, in the, in the crowd. It was like on a podium. <laughs> like, hmm. yeah, that's kind of weird, but kind of cool. Um, it's good. It's good that there are bigger actors taking part in things like that. That's how it should be. It's, that's how they get noticed. That's how the strikes get noticed, you know. Um, yeah, because obviously... ultimately, that's the thing, though, especially with the actors one, is that, um, like, that exact thing. There is no writer that could step up on that pedestal and have people talking about who it is. Let's be honest. There is no one writing for a show or a movie that people would know as well as a single actor um, or actress. Um, that is true. Brian Cranston. Well, Cranston. He's an annoying name. Uh, but yeah, like that, him doing that is immediately just like easier for people to talk about that cause. Well, the only right? one who comes close is actually Vince Gilligan, who wrote Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. He's probably the only I'm writer. Sorry, I've never heard of him. Um... <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have, though. A lot of people have. Have you heard of him? Thanks, Tom. I'm going to say he's, no, he's famous as writers go. Vince Same Gilligan. Bit. Rid of him. <laughs> I didn't catch that. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's just nonsense. Yeah, I think it was a yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fucking disabled. Um, what? Whatever. Last thing. Um, Dwayne Johnson made like a fucking big donation to like the Actors Guild. This is interesting. Yeah, it's all um, about his ego. No one yeah, but it's still shit. a good thing. He made like a seven-figure donation, which probably yeah, cool. wasn't just a million. Probably, I assume, like they would just say a million if it was just that. Um, it's probably more than a million. But yeah, well, yeah, he's a weirdo, sure. But yeah, I mean, it's probably not that much money for him. No, not but really still a good amount of money. Over. No, not at all. Yeah, I, don't, but... I don't think he should fuck himself over. I don't think he should. No. But uh, I, I think he should fuck himself. Go fuck. I, I would fight Drain the Rock Johnson. You yeah. would fight the Rock. Yeah, I'd get my ass caved in, but I'd do it. All right. I'm gonna get my ass caved in. I like Drain the Rock Johnson. Anyone? Okay. <laughs> Hi, Lois <laughs> Bidder. Yeah. All in all, um. Entertainment is dead. AI is taking over. We never stood a chance. Thank you all for watching. Not really, though. But maybe. It's like a 50-50 chance. If at any point in time, AI is, is good enough and undetectable enough um, to where companies can use them without anyone noticing, um, they will do that because it will be a lot, lot cheaper. Especially oh if you have to pay those writers more money. Um, like Christopher Nolan has been... So Christopher Nolan's had to do like all of the press for Oppenheimer because obviously all the actors are on strike. Um, so it's just been Christopher Nolan on his own doing like a lot of interviews. More than he <laughs> was... More than any director probably ever has for their own films. Um, and... He's been saying a lot about how, like, it, he's talked to a lot of people in, like, the AI just industry. I don't know if you would call it industry, just people working on AI. And they've, like, said that they they feel like they're facing, that, like, their Oppenheimer moment. The Oppenheimer moment being when they first de detonated the bomb in the test. And there was, like, that slight chance that when they did, it would, like, you know, ignite the atmosphere. Um, that's... Apparently, they have, like, a similar feeling right now where they feel like they could... It's like if they push this too far, then something could go really, really wrong. <laughs> yeah, which is one thing. It, it's scary. If it becomes about. financially easier. That's it. That's it. the especially since you know currently writers are on strike. That means if they felt like it, they could probably get a writer AI. See how good well, of a job they do. I don't do. know if you, don't know, if you um, know specifically why the actors are actually on strike. It's actually because of the um, a lot of them being like. There's something that's come up that like they're like being like forced to as in supposedly it's been in their contract even though it really isn't in a lot of cases where they've had to go in for like getting like sk their like faces scanned and things like that. Um, yeah, what? that's basically that. That and it's been like for extras mainly as well, for, like smaller actors. So it, it seems like there's a, a plan to like basically eliminate ex like extras as like a, a 
source of money for people just by having extras be completely automated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but then, like, even like bigger actors have been like, even like bigger actors, actors well. have been called in to have like their faces like scanned and stuff, and it's like, what the fuck yeah, is this? Yeah, but the reason for that <laughs> as well is, is probably also for like, um, I mean, they scan their faces for like action figures and shit, and their like whole bodies, and they also would do it if they die. Like that's how they then uh, generate them. Yeah. To then Which put them in, is if they die, is... to have have as like a leaving scene. They have yeah, done that well, and you know, it, been many scenes like that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's there are fucking... good reasons, but it's that they'll probably be using they won't be using it for the good reasons, they'll probably be using it maliciously. Yeah, because at that point it would then be, you know, an AI would write the scripts, they would then get the like fake oh. actors to fake act oh, it mate. with like animation. Um and ultimately maybe the animators will keep their job or the you know the CGI people, um, or Realistically, that some would somehow get taken over by AI as well, and all is lost. The industry is gone. Um, all is lost. Hope is dead. Which, by the industry being gone, doesn't mean that movies as a thing will be gone, but that industry will will be gone, right? Like all big blockbuster movies being completely a hundred percent fake will mean that either everyone doesn't care and will continue to watch it or that bubble will pop and no and all of that movies yeah, will yeah, never yeah. get watched and that industry will die and they have to hire real people to yeah, yeah, yeah. make people go see it um and that becomes like a thing so they, it might it might go the route of like nukes in that it's become such good technology that we just have to like ignore it and it like evens the playing field again essentially that all businesses in the the industry have like masterful ai that can create masterpieces and it like digitally recreate it in like a couple hours that you everyone just has to evaluating instead of us talking about like evaluating how the fighter did will be evaluating how good that business's ai is (laughs) yeah like that ai has got the 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 latest technology produced a really good film actually uh, i think it's way better than the other ai yeah. <laughs> and then they'll just use that ai create a bunch of other ais using the same code essentially and like, change it slightly you know fucking learning which i don't think is how that stuff is done no it, that's like two different types of ai i think yeah but um basically yeah i mean fuck fuck shit fuck um, I think that someone does have to do that though. So, someone does have to create a entirely AI created film at some. I point. think they should. I, I would be interested to see that. I'm interested yeah. to see that. I do not want AI to take over though. But I would love yeah. to see things made purely by AI. AI. I, I think would love to see AI secret, like Secret Invasion, right? I think that's something uh, bringing it right, really far back. The intro to Secret <sighs> Invasion was AI made. Yeah, um, not obviously 100, percent but that was cool. I would say, right? It was a pretty rad thing. It matched the style, right? It was AI being what used shit. as a tool, <laughs> as an instrument, not as the painter, right? The, you know, the, the buildsman, right? The, the buildsman. Um, I still don't like used... it. I don't, I don't like it. You should be it... paying people to do that instead. They did. It paid someone to make the AI art. Yeah, that's um, kind of whack. It's, yeah and no it's, it is essentially is that as it stands right now ai is essentially a paintbrush um it is a it is a very or very easy to use paintbrush essentially um and a very pay to win paintbrush <laughs> where you pay for pay a good enough win. paintbrush it will get paint you a fucking mona lisa um mona lisa's but... not that impressive <laughs> harry or die what what just because um, you don't have the Mona Lisa in your museum, don't be molding about other ones. We got right? better. We got better at art than that. Cool. I you, do you have any art? Yeah. Wow, I'm impressed. Thanks. Um, Thanks. Yeah. Point is, um, cinema, animation. Something is a hundred percent CGI. How is it not just an animated movie? <laughs> I don't know. How is the Lion King not just a, another 
type of animated movie and the why King. is it called live action? The Loin King. It is it is all fake, therefore it's all animated, therefore it's an animated movie. But it's CGI, it's not animation. I am deathly afraid. Yeah. If anyone wants to actually do something it's good, a um, who killed Roger Rabbit, go, CGI. Watch, go watch Castlevania for a couple of reasons. One number one, it's good. Number two, it ends very well, but it's also still like continuing, but in like a separate series. As in I'm I'm currently hot on the buzzer. There should be a trailer coming out today for the next Castlevania series. But it's like it's not a new season, it's it's another series set like with different characters, but like still chronologically after the original series. That's that's the way to do it. That's that's all I'm saying. Um so go watch Castlevania. Go watch um I like this. I like the fact that we got um a lot of footage talking about other things. <laughs> I'm happy with You're this. Welcome. Yeah, I'm glad I managed to get you to talk about One Piece actually, like almost fairly extensively. Um, only because I had to go to the toilet. <laughs> oh dear. Although that is that will bring us to a close. Um, if you enjoyed whatever the hell this was. Um, please make sure to give us your money. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, thank you very much for listening. If you did, that is very much appreciated. Um, this show is sponsored by no one yet. Um, so <laughs> he's muted himself. I am, well, I'm just going to end it anyway. All right. Um, it's the end. Goodbye. It's the end. It's the end. It's the end. The fog is coming. The fog is coming. The fog is coming. Yeah, it's coming. AI is coming. AI fog is coming. Take care. Mwah.